In today's One Funnel Away task, we're going to set up our ad account and create our first ad. Creating our first ad is essentially like building that rocket. That rocket that's going to go to the, the new people and deliver our content, our offer, our funnel to those people. We have several different elements that we want to incorporate. We want to make sure that we're targeting the right people. So in a few minutes here, guys, the, I'm going to show you where to do the targeting. So we have to target the right people. And we need to, in targeting, we need to find the right niche. We need to find that they're active. We need to find that we can actually get them an ads manager. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that inside of a tool that Facebook gives us that's completely free. So we need to target the right people. Then we need to set up the pixel or the brain. The pixel tracks what happens on your account. So inside the pixel, we need to actually get the pixel, okay? We're going to set up the ad account and we're also going to set up a conversion event. Now, just so that you guys know, I do, we are gonna go over a lot of this inside of the this One Funnel Away task list. However, I am also going to be linking to a lot of resources from Facebook. So, because some of the data changes in the sense where you get the pixel from, you have like a special link that your profile has. So we're gonna link to resources from Facebook as well to help you through those steps. Okay, so we've got targeting, then we've got the pixel, the pixel's the brain, then we've got the engine the creative. And the reality is guys, if you have the best ad in the whole wide world, you've got the best targeting, you've got your pixel set up perfectly. You've got, you're spending the money, which is the engine. You're spending money down here, you're spending all the right money in the right places, but you have the wrong creative. You're not going anywhere. So in this one section, we're going to talk about how to actually make an ad successfully. And Look below, we have actual wording that you can just copy and use. And then down here, we've got the, the gasoline. So creative's the engine, gasoline is your money. You put money into the right ad, and this whole thing, this whole rocket shoots up, and you get that result that you want, and you can explode in business with paid traffic. Okay, if you're ready, uh, I'm gonna head into the computer, and we're gonna walk through how to set up your targeting, find where your people are. We're gonna walk through how to set up your pixel and make sure that you're targeting your audience. And like I said, guys, this area right here, we're probably just gonna give you a bunch of links um, because in each one of those, I mean, it, yeah, we're gonna give you a, a bunch of links that you can click through to get more details on that. We're gonna talk about how to create your first ad, what that ad's gonna look like. I'll actually go through and make one with you. Then we're going to scale it, scale that traffic to the world. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I'm gonna see you in a, the computer, uh, hang tight with me. So to begin, the secret of beginning is the right people, right? Targeting the right people. How do we find those right people? I literally will go to Google and I type in audience insights. That brings me to this link right here. The blue button goes into audience insights in the back end of Facebook. What this does is it lets us use all the data that Facebook knows about people and what they love and what they don't love and who they are and lets us put our content in front of them specifically. So I click here to everyone on Facebook and I'm going to pick a location, then an age and a gender. I usually like to pick over 25 because most of my funnels, they don't sell the people very well under the age of 25. Then here's where the fun part starts. Here's where you pick your interest. So let's assume, let's assume that you're in the health and wellness space. So I'm going to type in here, health, health and wellness. That's an interest. If it's an interest, that means this tactic that I'm about to show you, it works. If this comes up as an employer, the tactic doesn't work. So you have to make sure it says interest right here, not um, employer, not demographics, but that it says interest. Then when we've got our niche, we write down our niche, and then we go over here to page likes. What we wanna do is we wanna see where are people most active in this space. So I hear here's health and wellness, and I can go over to the activity level. I can see that they click on ads 43 times, which is decent, actually really decent. They share three times, 
not so decent. Um, 21 comments, I guess it's okay, but it could definitely be better. So we can target people in just health and wellness. And I'm gonna show you how to target later, but I want you to think where the people are most active first, and then we'll go into the ads manager and we'll actually put our ad in front of those people. But first we need to find where those people are that are most active. So we need the right niche, then we need the right activity level, then we need to make sure they're in ads manager. So it's three steps. Here we go, we find the niche, health and wellness, activity level, here's the activity level. We wanna see where they're most active. So you can see here, we've got Cheek Soul, Clean Food Crush. We're gonna scroll down a little bit more. We've got Panera Bread, Cucon Lady, what else, Planet Fitness. Okay, so let's change this now. We're going to change it and we're going to say Planet Fitness. So remember the activity level we have. Now we're gonna change it and say Planet Fitness. Okay, so this one, oops, brought up demographics. We don't want demographics, we want Planet Fitness. Okay, so oops, it brought up an employer. We don't want an employer. Facebook is fun about that. Okay, there we go. It came up as an interest, so now we can use it. Now notice what it was before, 21, and this was three, and that was 41, right? So we're gonna take off health and wellness and watch what happens to the activity level. Oh, it went up, but barely. I don't know if it went up very much. So let's change it. Instead of Planet Fitness, let's try Beachbody. There we go. We have Beachbody as an interest now. I'm gonna take off employer. Look what happens with our activity level when we go to Beachbody. Give it a second here to refresh. And we went up. Uh, we went down here. That one didn't go up but much. So let's see. We want to find where they're the most active. So there's one on clean food. Look what happened, guys. If you're in the health and wellness space, what do you want to make sure you talk about? Look what happened to post likes. It jumped by over 10 li likes per month. So you know that if you can target an ad, to clean food, you're going to be more likely to be seen. Guys, your, pick your niche here. Go through your niche, look at the pages that people like in that niche, write them down, find where they're most active. So we can see here, clean food is getting 39 likes and 29 comments. That's decent. Okay, you've just, we just found out, right? Clean food, look at it, guys. <laughs> look at it, guys. Clean food is the one that just won. I mean, like they won. So they 35 to 40 million people in this niche, and of them, they're the most active. We know that it's health and wellness, they're the right people. So now what we wanna do is we wanna check to see if it's the uh, in the ads manager. So it's not enough to just find that it's the right niche, health and wellness. It's not enough to find where they're most active. It, we also need to find out, can we actually put an ad in front of them? So what I want you to do now is to open up your Facebook um, page or your Facebook, whatever, Facebook, get into Facebook, y'all. Go to the left sidebar and then I go into ads. I want to go into ads manager. The reason why I want to go to ads manager is because ads manager allows me to have more tools to see if I can run ads to specific people. So I scroll down to the bottom where it says ads manager and I click on that. And once I'm in ads manager, I'm going to hit create. I'm not actually making an ad right now. We're going to show you how to create an ad in a little bit, like the right way and all of the pieces and how to set it up from start to finish. That's going to be tomorrow. Today we're going to begin like, what does that look like? are we even able to run this ad? So we're just gonna begin the beginning stages here. So I want us to go now to ad set, that button at the top that says ad set. You're gonna to go to ad set, and we're just checking at this point, are we able to send an ad to this audience? So I'm, guys, because I have a business partner in Puerto Rico, I always have it where it's bringing up Puerto Rico as my um, audience. Come on. There we go, I've got that fixed. So now I can go down, scroll down a little bit, and I'm gonna go on to detailed targeting. And I'm gonna add my interest. Remember my interest was clean food.
here we go. There it is, it popped up, clean food is here. We're gonna go over how to make an ad later, but I just wanna check at the beginning, can I even get them right here? Do they even pop up? Cause not every um, page that would interest that we find that does well will show up inside of ads manager. So generally for me, about half of them will show up and half of them won't, which means this stage of, of going through what pages do people like and where are those people? It's so important. It's going to take you probably 20, 30 minutes to find those pages where people are most active. And then when you're here, you can add all of those pages in there. So let's assume that yoga was one that did really well and we had high engagement on it. Well, then what I would want to do is we would add all of them together so we could grow that audience. Okay. So we're reaching more people with our content. Okay. So remember in the targeting phase, we want to make sure one that we have the niche and it's in Facebook. Okay. Um, generally guys, you're all on Facebook one. Two, that we know what that the activity level is. Are, have we found where they're most active in our space? Three, are they on Facebook in Ads Manager where we could even put an ad in front of them? Once we've done that, now it's time to uh, get ready to run our ads. Tomorrow we're gonna run ads. But right now, I want us to set up the pixel. So once you know you're targeting, now it's time to set up your pixel. Setting up your pixel, it's a little complicated, but not too complicated. Go up to the top of your, your Google, your, your URL bar, and I want you literally to type in set up Facebook pixel. Okay, I want you to type in set up the account, your Facebook pixel. The reason being is Facebook will literally walk you through how to do that. So I could give you instructions, but it's, it's, it depends on Facebook. So you're going to go here to install the pixel and you're going to click through and Facebook is going to walk you through the exact steps of what you're going to need to do to set up the pixel. Now, once you have that pixel, you're going to go into your ClickFunnels account and you're going to put this pixel, this little piece of code into your, your funnel. So right here, guys, this is my funnel. I'm going to go over to my settings and I'm going to put my pixel right here into the head tracking code of my funnel. So this is where you're going to put that piece of code that Facebook gives you right there. Okay. Then guys, this is work you do once and now Facebook measures if traffic is coming to you and if your ad is even working, which you want to know if it's working. Otherwise you're spending money and, and it's a wish and a prayer in the sky. Okay. So you've got your pixel now and you've got your targeting, you know who you're going to target. Now we need to create the creative. What I mean by that is how are you going to promote your funnel to your audience? I want you to promote your funnel to your audience in such a way that they're like, oh my word, I've been waiting for this my entire life. Where has this been? So to promote your content to your, to your audience, I want you to create it as a Facebook post first. Now we've given you exact wording that you can use, that you can copy, that you can use as your first ad. If you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to begin promoting my content. Guys, we've given it to you right now and I'm just going to copy it really fast. I'm, I'm going to put mine in here. Here it is. I'm going to pop it in here. There's a reason why. So here we are. I've literally copied the wording that I've given to you, I mean, using the same exact wording. I just edited the wording. I added my own graphic. Like we've talked to you guys, use a graphic or a video. And then we hit post. That's it. The ad is now on our Facebook page, ready for us to run traffic to it in just a little bit. We're going to post it as a regular post on our page today. And then tomorrow we're going to come back and we're going to run money to this post because I firmly, firmly believe that ads will amplify what you already have. So I already have people who are here saying, oh yeah, bring it to me. Then I know that I'm going to be able to sell my product because I've already got people who are ready and waiting for it. Okay. I want that for each and every one of you. Now, if this post flops, 
okay? If it flops, it happens, it happens. We want you to try again. Remember what Russell said. You are going to put lots of hooks into that ocean to attract your perfect audience. It may not have been this one. Maybe they want different creative. Maybe they want different wording. That's why we're giving you more than one ad. Um, okay guys, I want you to at least post one hook into your ocean today and um, let us know that you've done all the things from today because we've covered a lot of stuff. We covered finding where your audience was so you can run an ad to them. We've covered setting up your ad account and your pixel, <laughs> which it's a pain and it's, it's confusing, but you do it one time and then it's done. That 15 minutes of work is going to be a game changer for you. We show you how to create that ad and now you're ready for tomorrow when we're actually gonna put money into that ad. So guys, we've got that ad over here. It's not an ad yet, it's just a Facebook post, but it will become an ad. And I can't wait to see you in tomorrow when we take it to that next level. Okay, bye guys.